Back in Cincinnati, I am that girl who was born without legs. Yet here on spring break in Fort Lauderdale, I become a beautiful girl with a limp. We are here at the historic Vroman's Bookstore in Pasadena for the launch of Mermaid, a memoir of resilience by Eileen Cronin. What? I like. <laughs> And the lady um, had these big bell-bottom pants, so I, she was like curtaining me from the crowd. And Eileen grew up in the Midwest during the 1960s and the 1970s. Her first publication was a cover story for Washington Post Outlook section. She was awarded the Washington Writing Prize in Fiction and had a notable essay in Best American Essays. She's practiced clinical psychology for years in the Washington, D.C. area, and she now lives in Los Angeles with her husband and her daughter. The place is crowded and smells of stale beer. A sandy blonde guy with Donny Osmond teeth makes eye contact with me. He wants to know about me, so I tell him, I'm the highest seated tennis player on our varsity team, a freshman at that. My friends stop flirting with their fan club. Twin Fair has turned to face me. I'm terrified and exhilarated all at once. I say, I tripped on a tennis ball that got under my feet, don't know how it happened, both ankles twisted, and here I am, a limping tennis star. The sandy blonde guy says he could see something like this clumsy tennis ball stuff happening. Stuff like that happens to him all the time. But what the hell? Should we dance? Could we dance with the limp and all? I shake my head no, but he's already standing with his hand out, the silver studded disco ball dangling over him with its million tiny mirrors, reminding me that I'm a one in a million girl, and that right now I want to be one of the other 999,999, whatever. I stand up in my knee, the only one I have begins to wobble. Colored light beams snap and scatter from the rotating ball. As soon as I accept his hand, my knee steadies itself. On our way to the dance floor, he says, you sure screwed up those ankles, and I think, I'm just glad they're attached to my feet. I don't tell him I once stepped out of my car to find that the foot with which I'd been driving was still on the floorboard. <laughs> Mobs of couples jam onto the dance floor. My man in pink cotton takes me in his arms for this slow dance. I look up at his smile and feel a pang of concern. The lie. And yet, it is so intoxicating, this lie. I want to keep it going. I can't believe he's picked me. Or maybe this is how it should be. Why not? The song ends before I'm ready to let it go, and we are hurled into staying alive. <laughs> I clap for my partner, mesmerized by his tron, travolt to hips. No man in Cincinnati moves his pelvis like that. He takes my hand in his and gives me an easy twirl. I'm light as a spirit, ready to soar. He sees that, and now he's grinning. He has plans for us. In an instant, he's grasping my waist and lifting me up. Am I spinning? We gain momentum, and I'm reminded of my legs just as the left one comes loose. No, I scream as he twirls me at top speed. The left leg launches from my lemon yellow corduroys, the penny loafer guiding the missile into the mob. Now, put me down now. He finally hears me and puts me down. I crumple to the floor, a one-legged raggedy Ann in the midst of a throbbing disco. My partner is still dancing, not realizing what's happened. His face earnest, sincere. He's reaching for the ghost partner in front of him. But which one of us is more naive? He only asked for a dance. What was I expecting? Was it selfish of me to want to be beautiful just this once without disclaimers, riders, or caveats? I'm 18. Am I not entitled to a few delusions of grandeur? Right now, I'd settle for being just another face in the crowd because here on the floor, I'm about to be trampled. While above me, the lyrics taunt, ah, ha, ha. 
I have to get that leg, the crowd is drunk, and a wooden leg would make a nice fraternity souvenir. One last time I glance back at the sandy blonde in his pink Oxford shirt, still dancing. He doesn't even notice me, the girl who now wriggles away on her elbows. And if he does, he doesn't follow. Thank <laughs> you.